Ooh, we got a long one today. A potentially hazardous, potentially put me in a bad mood one. But, but I need to do it. I need to because it's driving me insane. I mean, look at the bed. Don't look at the bed. It's gonna, that's part of the video. Okay, so today I'm tackling the shelves. Oof. I need like a Xanax before I do these things. Don't look at that open space. It's because three of the books are right here. They look fine from the outside, but I have continued to bookshop, obviously, since the last time I did these. So like all of my books that are new are like either hidden behind or there's just, it's, a, it's chaos in my brain. Like it doesn't make sense to me in my brain right now. So that's why it needs to change. I also want to change, I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you in a little bit. There's a cat tree over there that doesn't really get used. Cause like, why would they sit on a cat tree in the corner of a room? I don't know. And it's really old. I've had that cat tree for literal years. So I'm ready to get rid of it and make that little space maybe where I can put like a chair or something. So I think I'm gonna move the bed closer to you and make that area like comfier so I don't have to sit on my bed for every single video. Okay, so that's that's what we're doing today. Oh, welcome in. Hey, forgot to welcome you guys. <coughs> All I did was clean my room and I'm like drenched in sweat right now. I feel like I need a shower. But let's get going. Um, I don't, I, honest to God, don't know where to start. I really don't. I do know I'm leaving the Game of Thrones and Harry Potter shelves. I'm not touching those because like those don't bother me. And I haven't added anything to those. So we're going to be working on this shelf, this shelf, and that's it. That's all I got for you. I wish I could play Taylor Swift in the background with you guys, but can't do that. So here we are. I'm gonna have Game of Thrones in the background. Let's get started. <laughs> so like this is what I mean. This space is just like not being used. I also don't know if you can see me. This guy's gotta go. He's ugly, he's old, he's taking up space. I like, don't even know what to do first. This should be good, swear to God. I think. I've decided I want to keep the rainbow still. Yeah, I think so. Because I do like the rainbow. I just need to fix it because it's like not actually a rainbow. Because it's kind of hard to figure out what colors go where. Imagine I took the rainbow down on Pride Month. That's so homophobic. So we can't do that. Like, see, there's just books hidden. There's shit hidden everywhere. I guess I'll start up here and fix this. Also, the amount of- I'm not touching the Legos up there, I don't think you can even see them. But they're definitely gonna fall. I need to actually- I need to organize them better. I need a step stool. Ugh! super frustrating that I can fit all but one. Oh, of course. Oh my god, I found a pumpkin. I don't know how I feel. I'll come back to it. Because if I do this, maybe I could make this my fantasy shelf and then I could just make this a smaller rainbow. You know? So now I just have all these random romances. <laughs> My stomach just growled. Okay, it looks like we're taking a break to go eat. <laughs> I got this super far. <laughs> I'm back. Um, I ate leftover Chipotle and I made a coffee. But now I'm back. Um, so I still want to display my manacle. That like kind of takes up a lot of room. 
Also, this won't stand by itself, so that's fun. Like, that takes up so much room. Okay. I don't hate that. I don't love it, that's for sure. I'm losing it. Nothing's like really clicking with me right now. so close to my fucking face that would have ruined my day do we hate that i think that's all my fantasy too okay now it's time for romance <laughs> i always make coffee and then forget i made it and then it gets too watered down and then i don't drink it we are a third i'd say a quarter of the way done <laughs> i have romance to do all that over there is thriller and then I want to redo up here just because I've acquired new things and I just throw them up there. So I want to just like reorganize it. And then this piece of shit over here. I don't know what to do with that yet. That's just all my movies. It drives me actually insane. So and I'm going to finally take my Christmas lights off of the thriller shelf because they don't work anymore. Because I had them on 24-7. So like shocker, they stopped working. They were probably like five dollars but i do want to get i miss having lights on them because i feel like it does add a lot so i want to get more of like little fairy lights <sighs> found two fantasy Fuck. okay i need to make like a favorites pile because they're gonna go here and then just go down in order of importance to me i have so many thrillers i'm scared to go over there I like that up and I want these showing, obviously. I'm gonna have one more. Abby Jimenez for sure skis. Ah! Okay, literally calm down. All right, I want this one displayed. I know that, duh. Okay, why is that one taller? That's bull. It's the same publishing company. That's kind of a lot for one. So let's go back to this literally calm down all right new plan fuck these are gonna go over here look how adorable god i love heartstopper oh there we go that's better okay dang it what about that except i don't like that Please stop. Those are my favorites right now. But like favorites of all time, also like Seven Year Slip and the Pucking Around series. So that could be cute. I feel like this kind of goes with this a little bit. I have my Addicted, Magnolia, Pucking Around, and Emily Henry. I feel like those are kind of like the next ones. And then also Lynn Painter, because these are cute. The annoying thing about my Magnolia Parks, see. I have one through four in like the regular original pretty covers. Then I have two or four, whichever one this is, in the new covers. And then I have the fifth one in the very large cover because it came from the publishing company. So they don't work well together at all. And like I want one of them displayed because I like these covers so much. It's just difficult. Like I, I feel like I end up hiding this one just because it doesn't really fit anywhere. The thing is I like this on there so we're gonna have to hope that stays all of them since i'm on carpet my both my bookshelves are like the slightest little bit forward so all of my books that are standing like you know showing being d displayed are like just a little forward and it makes me nervous no no what the hell are you doing i still need to get i have the that one night, the first one, and then the first novella second one i need the second novella and the third book comes out in like a month I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. I can't even explain how excited I am. Technically, 
actually this will be perfect for when the new book comes out so i might leave that there honestly even though i hate how it looks right now <laughs> i'll just do that for right now okay these are all my romance i've decided to put penelope douglas nicholas sparks like my disney books bridgerton all in this little shelf over here because i don't care if those are hidden Like, I don't like it. <laughs> On to the next. Ah! Oh. The water from the condensation of my coffee is on the ground and I got scared that someone peed. This one is kind of like my cutesy, girly, old romances. Like, obviously it's got every Colleen Hoover book I own. My off-campus books, which like, I still really love these books, like a lot. Like, the office the office. Like, I still want to read The Graham Effect really badly. I've seen everyone give it five stars. What is that about? So, like, I need to read it. And, like, Lucy Score and Taylor Jacobs Read, and then My Love and Other Words Shrine, because it's my favorite. I need to add this pile of books to it somehow. Which is, like, silly because I like the way it looks right now. And this is a lot of books. So. Oh! I found a book. Oh, it's Friday Night Lights. I don't know what to do with that. It's like I have all these books that I want to own, like Friday Night Lights and like these Bridgerton, but I don't want them shown. Like they just don't fit the vibe. They aren't as cute, you know? Get away, psycho. Ugh. I need to figure this out. I have three copies of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Two of them are free, so. I guess this is step number one. I just need to take off. I might move my off-campus up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Also, I have a dilemma because I like these. Oh, I found books. Okay, there are books up there that were set aside for my reading sad books all week video, but I haven't done it yet. So they're going to have to go here somewhere. Anyways, I like Nicholas Sparks hardbacks without the covers on them. So then I just have the covers. Ew, that was a jump scare. So, uh, not you. Sorry, Mr. Sparks. I wasn't saying you're ugly. I have two more up there, too. So, I don't know what to do about that. Because I like them without the thing. These were my nightstand, like, coffee table books. <sighs> Whatever. I'll figure it out in a second. My back hurts, for sure. Yeah, it does. So tired dude my back is about to give out shut up Luna on the last almost last like section this is my thriller shelf and spider-man but i'm not touching spider-man because there's nothing to really touch and i like him there so deal with it and then like this little guy the problem is you can't see it where you're at but on the bottom <laughs> page i couldn't hold it back the bottom is like a bunch of paperback thrillers hidden and then my vinyls and I like how I have my vinyls so I'm leaving that I'm just gonna use it as a hider because I'm I have too many thrillers way too many I don't even know what half of them are which is a problem like yes it's my fault but it's too late and I'm not getting rid of books don't care I'm not getting rid of books you will literally never see me do an unhaul now if I ever do one in the future I will be clipping this to make fun of myself but I don't like getting rid of books so I do need to do something with this shelf because literally all it has is Hunting and Haunting Adeline and Riley Sager. So I need to utilize this shelf more. And then I have a pile of books on the bottom that I need to put somewhere. So this is going to be not fun. I'm just putting that out there. I forgot I said I was going to take the lights off. Jeez. 
Jeez, that was annoying. Done. So I got them all on. The only problem is I can't display as much. So like it's fine. But now I need to do the marble over here. But like I'm scared to touch it without a stool. You know, I think I'm gonna leave it actually. <laughs> Cause the only thing I wanted to move was like a little bit of movies. But I think it looks fine for right now. So I'm just gonna make the little cozy bed over here to read on. And then I might be done. <laughs> I forgot about the movies. is about to get thrown so this is not this is not the final do not fret this is not the final product this is not the vibe don't worry this is where i want to put a chair i just don't have a chair yet okay so don't don't fret i always throw my extra pillows right here anyway so like i might as well use it for something or like it make it look like something i don't know but this is what it is right now i could read like this I think I'm done though. Down here, let me move my Squishmallows. I have like random romances. Frederick Backman are down here. It's kind of just like my random romance books. Kind of color coordinated, not really. Like there's just a stack of pink. And then I have like this little stack of summer books. So like Summer I Turn Pretty and some Christina Lauren, Carly Fortune, you know, you know the vibe. Here, a couple like newer books and or hardback. I don't really know. And then Emily Henry, Lynn Painter, Addicted, Pucking Around Magnolia. I'm gonna have to get up. And then I just did Abby Jimenez, Seven Year Slip, Heartstopper, and then a little one rainbow instead of the whole thing being rainbow. So this is my romance shelf. And then obviously these are just still my DVDs. I just organized them better. So this is my fantasy shelf. It's kind of a mess. Shocker. Down here is just kind of like random hardback fantasy plus the Midnight Library that's where it fits and then the outlander series plus friday night lights kingdom of the wicked with throne of the fallen maze runner kind of like the movie fantasy dystopian stuff so like beautiful creatures vampire diaries fifth wave divergent maze runner hunger games that kind of stuff and then just a couple other random fantasies divine rivals crescent city powerful powerless you know that whole thing and then the once upon a broken heart trilogy manacled fourth wing Sarah J Mass and Crescent City did not fit in there. Sorry about it. This is all the exact same, except this is Nicholas Sparks instead of random romance because I moved them over there. Bridgerton and it's hiding my Penelope Douglas. Taylor Jenkins Reid, Lucy Score, Love in Other Words, hiding some like Disney retellings. Off Campus, Colleen Hoover. That's it. I didn't really say, but this is Lisa Jewell and Ruth Ware. And then these are like the tall books. So back behind here is all Twilight and like 50 random thrillers. And then my vinyls are showing random hardback thrillers back behind are even more random hardback thrillers paperback thrillers that i want to see because i actually like and or are like nowhere popular ba paris free mcfadden and then karen slaughter and alice feeney god oh, i can finally stand now naturals geneva haunting riley sager spider-man that's it that's literally all i've got i will redo my legos up there another day not today. I need a step stool for that. In honor of my last one with Luna, I did one with bugs now. But here they are in all their glory. They need lights, I know that. Hopefully you like them. If not, give me suggestions because like obviously I don't know what I'm doing. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next one.